The director of the US Center for Disease Control and Prevention has warned that a second wave of coronavirus could be even worse than the first, especially if it is during the flu season this coming winter. The US medical expert Robert Redfield told the Wall Street Journal, there's a possibility that the assault of the virus on our nation next winter will actually be even more difficult than the first one we just went through. Redfield went on to warn that if the COVID-19 peak had hit during the influenza season, it would have been very difficult for the US healthcare system to cope. His warnings come as several US states start to ease their lockdown measures. Protests have been sparked in several states, such as Michigan, where people feel the economic impact on them and their families from a coronavirus lockdown is too much to bear. Governors in Tennessee and Georgia have announced plans to start to reopen their states, starting with the reopening of some small businesses. We will allow gyms, fitness centers, bowling alleys, body art studios, barbers, cosmetologists, hair designers, nail care artists, estheticians, their respective schools, and massage therapists to reopen their doors this Friday, April the 24th. Unemployment in the U.S. has reached 22 million, wiping out 10 years' worth of surging jobs. Meanwhile, the country has seen over 800,000 cases of COVID-19 and more than 45,000 deaths, the most in the world. President Donald Trump yesterday announced his controversial plan to shut down immigration into the United States in order to protect people's jobs and welfare. As we all know, millions of Americans sacrificed their jobs in order to battle the virus and save the lives of our fellow citizens. We have a solemn duty to ensure these unemployed Americans regain their jobs and their livelihoods. Therefore, in order to protect American workers, I will be issuing a temporary suspension of immigration into the United States. The continued debate between protecting the economy and battling the coronavirus will be one that defines 2020.